Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial of uh, DVD SlideShare GUI. Um, I will try to talk you through some of the basic functions in, in this program. First of all, uh, we would like to have a look at the project settings. So the project settings are where you can set uh, uh, the screen ratio and the, and the format. Um, uh, yeah, we have the PAL and NTSC, and then we have got the HD um, formats down here. And PAL and NTSC is both in uh, in the Mac standard and uh, and this widescreen format down here. Uh, one thing to notice is the frame rate. Uh, the frame rate of uh, PAL is twenty five frames per second, and uh, NTSC is uh, twenty nine point ninety seven frames per second. NTSC is typically used in the States and PAL is used in Europe. Um, uh, if you're not sure what system uh, uh, is used in your country, you probably have to Google it. Um, yeah, um, these are not that important right now. Maybe the import settings, if we want to have uh, a specific transition when we are import importing the slides, we can select it here. But random is good for now so you can see the various transitions i'll just okay this and then we will have to add some videos and pictures you can do that here or right here and here uh, i have a folder of pictures there's a very nice functionality up here where you can select uh, big icons and um, then you will be able to see the actual photos so if you left click on the slide you'll just select one photo however if you use shift the shift key on the, your keyboard or the control key together with the left mouse button um, um, you can select more slides now with shift uh, I, I select all the slides between this slide and this slide um, this control and if I want to select specific slides, uh, several specific slides, I will hold down the control key, uh, like I'm doing now. And then finally, if you hit control and A on your keyboard, you will select all the slides. I will just import all the slides now. I hit open, and here it's writing it's importing those slides. And here we got the slides in, uh, in this window window um, if these are too small for you to view uh, you can change the thumbnail size up here um, okay and let's start to have a look at the sub subtitles then um, the different settings here and now I will just select the first slide here right click to open the slide settings and over here we can extract data from that very photo we have selected or the selection of photos but um, as you can see uh, most of these file names are not very meaningful but the first one is so I will just select the file name and the file name becomes a subtitle um, now if I hit the return key you will add a slash capital letter N and this means that it will make a new line um, <clears throat> uh, we can just have a look uh, by clicking this button up here accept settings and preview Q current slide um, you can see this is how our subtitle looks now um, yeah so if you want a new line you just use this or you just hit the return key so um, if I now select this and select the style tag then it will add the tags around those words I hi highlighted before so now I, if I preview you can see that now the text is red if I add it right there and then add fade in, fade out, preview, 
you'll see that the text is fading in and it is fading out as well. <clears throat> so that's pretty much how that works. Um, and then of course you can remove the tags, uh, but not the the new line tag. Uh, I don't think that is too meaningful to do that like that. Um, so that's pretty much it on that account. Now we would like to add some music. Uh, you can either do that from up there, or you can. Um, yeah, where is it? That music, it's right there. Um, and here's one. I'll just copy that name. Um, one file there, and um, down here you'll be able to see all the all the the file names, and you can change the order by using these buttons up and down. Uh, and down here you can actually also. Uh, write Okay, if we want to play around with the effects, um, the preprocess means that uh, the 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 effect is added to the slide before the uh, slide is actually added to the slideshow, whereas the, the post process is uh, is added after the slideshow has been assembled to the entire video file. So um, here we can we can add. Uh, like a film look. Maybe that isn't too visible, but it's yeah, adding some saturation to the to the slides. We'll just add something which is a bit more like Polaroid. Yeah, you can see that. That's definitely changing the um, the look. Um, and here in the post process, we can add stuff to the um, entire slideshow. Um, what would be fun? What would be fun? So you can see there's an effect added, and yeah, you can just play around with it. It's it's kind of fun. Um, not plenty. Well, for now, I will not select any of those. I'll just OK that. So now we want to export our slideshow. Um, you can use that button, or you can use the various functions up here. If you use the export slideshow, there are plenty of formats you can export to. Um, various uh, MGP formats and uh, uh, ISO ready to burn author DVD or DVD folders, which is yeah the same as the ISO but not in a in a sort of zip format. Um, and you can add the separated video, audio, subtitles, and chapter points. Um, you can export to uh, Flash.